an industrial park an hour east of London, became a gruesome crime scene. Inside this container truck, the bodies of 38 adults and one teenager. This matter has attracted national and international interest and it's absolutely imperative that the operation is conducted with the utmost respect for the 39 people who've lost their lives. For truckers who come here every day, it was difficult to comprehend. It's horrible. It's quite difficult to believe as that's happening quite close to the place where you're walking. Tragic, absolutely terrible, yeah. It's such a shame, um, obviously trying to get over here for a better life. The cargo trailer arrived in Britain on a ferry from Belgium. It was collected by a driver early this morning at a port on the River Thames. Not long after, surveillance video shows it pulling into the industrial park. The driver has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Local media identified him as Mo Robinson from Northern Ireland. This is an unimaginable tragedy and, and truly heartbreaking. I know that the thoughts and prayers of all members are with those who lost their lives and their loved ones. These smaller ports are becoming increasingly popular with criminals, smuggling migrants from mainland Europe and beyond. Five years ago, not far from this crime scene, police opened a container with dozens of migrants. One man died. And many today recalled nearly 20 years ago, when 58 Chinese migrants died in a similar way. In late afternoon, the truck, almost like a hearse, took the 39 bodies to a secure location as they try and figure out who the victims are. Police say this will be a difficult investigation involving many jurisdictions, and it could take a long time to find out how 39 people ended up dead in a truck here. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Grays, Essex.